Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the quick uh, summary review of this uh, Nothing Phone 1. And uh, this is something new that I'm starting guys. Uh, this video, I'm trying to ma make the review quicker in about uh, 5 to 7 minutes. You know, my in-depth reviews will be, uh, are actually pretty long, about 20-25 minutes or even 30 minutes. I'll also do that uh, later on in a day or two. But here is the quick uh, review of uh, this one. Uh, but the summary and what are my thoughts, I'll go in detail so let's go over it and again uh, if you want to know a general overview uh, about this smartphone and stuff watch the unboxing video there I've covered all those aspects okay first thing is regarding the screen this is having a 6.5 inch screen it's a AMOLED screen 120 Hertz 10 bit and again it's very good some of you have asked me do I have black crush issue or something no I haven't um, faced that the only slight con is that uh, the maximum brightness is okay I would say I wish it was higher that's why I noticed that in HDR uh, it does not make that much of an impact i would say uh, and also on netflix i noticed that hdr uh, is not supported uh, next thing is regarding the in hand feet here i would say nothing has done an incredible job because of this aluminium frame and the build quality the back is also glass gorilla glass 5 etc this feels very very premium in fact it does not feel like a smartphone that costs 32 or 33 thousand it definitely feels like a premium handset so in terms of build quality i'm impressed with this one uh, next thing is regarding the stereo speakers yes it has stereo speakers and these stereo speakers are okay i would say in, in the terms of loudness they're okay but again in terms of depth and bass slightly uh, i would say could have been better but again uh, many of the other mid-range smartphones also in this price range have similar speakers uh, only con is uh, no 3.5 mm headphone jack so you have to rely on bluetooth tws and stuff like that so regarding the call quality uh, i've been actually testing this with my primary sim that is airtel and still my primary sim is in this one using it for the last five days took a lot of calls good thing is that the earpiece is very very clear no issues in fact in terms of network reception also this performed much much better than my expectation in this area right now i'm using wi-fi calling but the signal is very low that's why i have to use wi-fi calling but if i switch off wi-fi also i could actually take calls and if you can see the signal is not that great it has that 4g plus and all those things but uh, in terms of call quality and network reception i have to say uh, this actually performed way way better than many of the smartphones in fact felt like a true flagship in that area so that way it's good this has a 4500 milliamp hour battery and i would say the battery life actually performed pretty well because of the snapdragon 778 plus uh, processor and in, as you can see from the screenshots a uh, screen on time anywhere from about six and a half to about even nine hours you can actually get for this one so battery life is not an issue but guys i did all my testing with the single sim not with the dual uh, sim just uh, want to be very clear but battery life was not an issue easily will last a full day and even if you're a slot of a light user one and a half day regarding the camera it has two cameras at the back both are 50 megapixel uh, the main one has optical image stabilization the second one is also 50 megapixel that's ultra wide and as you can see here are the camera samples and overall i would say the camera performed much better than what i expected in um, decent lighting it actually performed way better than what i expected but even in oh, i would say not that great lighting dull lighting it did perform pretty good considering if we compare it with other smartphones in this price range uh, so the camera was good even the front facing camera is actually good it does not do that over snap thing that some of the other smartphones do with the front facing camera uh, uh, it looks pretty natural i would say also that color boosting that we notice in a lot of smartphones to make it very vibrant is not there so uh, that way i would say the camera is uh, good uh, if i get time i'll try to do a dedicated camera review and compare it with other smartphones later on now, now let's talk about some of the important things that i noticed on this smartphone you could say some of the improvements that could have been done and i've uh, written it down on my laptop so i'll just look at this one uh, the first thing is regarding the pricing in india guys it's priced at about the base variant that comes with 8 gigabytes of ram and uh, 128 gigabytes of storage is priced at about 33000 right now it's at 32000 but regular price is about 33000 so psychologically i would say it's above that 30000 price point uh, which many users will find it a little bit more expensive uh, if they could have bought it down to that 29000 something uh, or like that it would have been better next thing is again this is related to the pricing this smartphone does have wireless charging and wireless charging is not easy to implement it expensive I feel uh, they could have uh, omitted wireless charging on this uh, smartphone and reduced the cost because many of the users who are buying this smartphone will not invest in a separate wireless charger because wireless chargers are expensive. Instead of that, 
I would say wireless charging, they should have bundled the charger in the box, which is missing. So I feel that's a missed opportunity with this one. Next thing is uh, regarding this back glyph interface that we call, if I just put it like this back, it will go to do not disturb, it will light up, I know it goes. And you can play around with this one, these lights actually glow. And I think so that's the hype about this smartphone, these back uh, lights are, are glowing and stuff like that. And you have a setting over here, you can go to the glyph interface. Oops, I'll decline that. Ah, see that spam a true caller works okay ram management is good on this smartphone no issues regarding that but i would uh, not suggest that to go with 12 gigabytes of ram 8 gigabytes is more than enough so uh, anyways we, we have this glyph interface as i was talking and you can switch it on and off completely you can switch it off but again the amount of customization that is given in this glyph interface is very very minimal i would say yes ringtones you can play around with this one for example you, you have something like this and it goes here so that is there but apart from uh, these things uh, functionality wise i would say uh, the glyph interface is not that great because individually if i want to uh, customize let's say th these has multiple lights over here, here, here let's say for whatsapp i want it only to blink uh, this color or let's say my uh, uh, gate security app i want it only to be lit up this one uh, so customization like that as of now is not possible so yes the glyph interface is cool to look at but uh, again i would say uh, you'll forget about it uh, pretty quickly uh, the only place where i use this glyph interface is like this now i know it go goes to do not disturb and yes uh, whenever a notification comes the entire thing lights up but i would like them to allow this glyph interface to be customizable so that i can customize it individually for our app but as of now that is not possible fingerprint scanner no issues in display fingerprint scanner is there now let me uh, talk about the summary that i have written about this uh, smartphone what do i actually feel about this one after using it for almost about six days now okay overall the nothing phone one performed much better than what i expected it gets the basics right like a good amulet screen which uh, is actually a 10 bit with 120 hertz refresh rate build quality with that aluminium chases and the glass back uh, uh, feels very premium uh, so gives a premium vibe definitely uh, moving to the call quality the call quality was also very good cellular call and even works with wi-fi calling so uh, that way it was good and i did not even have that proximity sensor issue other small things that i liked on the smartphone is the haptic feedback that was done which is generally not paid too much attention on mid-range smartphones but here the haptic feedback was done actually pretty well and also the processor used the snapdragon 778 plus on this one handles everything that you throw on it even that 120 hertz refresh rate it handles uh, so again no issues regarding the processor the processor was not a bottleneck on this one i also like that they are using ufs 3.1 storage and lpddr5 ram so here also they did not do the cost cutting uh, i uh, also like the fact that uh, this does not have any bloatware pre-installed so no extra apps or adware or crapware that we generally see in mid-range smartphones that glyph interface is a unique thing a marketing point but again i would say after a week or something you will just forget about it unless uh, nothing works on the customization as i have talked about earlier um, moving to the camera the camera is good enough i would say it's not the best i i would say but pretty good enough uh, but uh, certainly if you start comparing this camera to the true flagships that cost almost twice or thrice then yes those will go ahead let's not kid ourselves nothing promising next three years of android update it comes out of the box with android 12 next four years of android security update that's actually a very good uh, thing uh, but uh, i hope nothing does not cripple the smartphone performance or adds bloatware with future ot updates like other android uh, uh, oems that are starting to do this in the guise of ot updates certainly this uh, nothing phone is not a super value mid-range smartphone like all of us were expecting uh, there is slight premium but that justifies itself in the solid build quality and the actual end user experience i had with this phone i felt like i was using a premium android smartphone to be frank so guys, uh, that was my quick summary review of this Nothing Phone 1. Certainly impressed with this one and certainly a breath of fresh air in uh, 
the crowded mid-range smartphone market. Uh, this one certainly stands out. But again, that premium is there. I'll also be posting the full in-depth review uh, where I go over each topic of this uh, smartphone in detail. Those reviews generally go on for about 25-30 minutes. So I'll try to post that in the next couple of days. Stay tuned for that. But guys, what do you feel about this quick summary kind of review? Do let me know in the comment section below. And guys, if you're still not subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.